Hey there, HCG family. Uh, it's just me, Miss HCG girl, and I'm checking in for, I guess, life maintenance. <laughs> no, really, I'm checking in. I'm on round six. Uh, I'm on P4, and I don't know, somewhere like day 90-something. <laughs> My LIW was something like 144.2 or 4, and today I'm 140.7. And, um, I'm adding back in carbs on a regular basis, and I've been exercising a lot. Uh, I'm still doing my pole walking on good days, and on not-so-good days, I go to the gym. And I really enjoy that, and, um, I just wanted to pop on here and say I'm alive. I've gotten a lot of text messages, a lot of... Uh, private messages on YouTube and my fitness pal saying, where are you? What have you been doing? And as you know, I, you know, you looking at me now, I mean, this is not the greatest lighting in here tonight, but, um, uh, you probably noticed that my hair color is going back to my original brown and, uh, with a few highlights and, um, uh, just for right now, this is how I feel and that's what I'm doing. And, um, I've also been doing a lot of crocheting. Look at this little hat I made. Isn't that cute? It's actually pink. It looks red on there, pink. And it's going to have eyes and stuff. It's a little owl hat. And uh, it's got big old white eyes and stuff and little brown spots in the eye. And it's so cute. And um, I'm making a brown one, too, and a blue one. It's very cute stuff. Just, uh, you know, spending a lot of time while it's cold outside. I enjoy have, being busy with my hands. And um, anyway, I just want to get on here and talk for a second about my experience. Um, today, I realized something that I wanted to share, you know, about myself. You know, I don't always talk about the down or the negative or whatever like that. But I wanted to share something that I realized today. Uh, today, we went to a birthday party at a pizza place. Um, uh, Ashley was invited to a little boy's birthday. And I realized going over there, you know, that I was going to have to make a decision. Was I going to eat the pizza? Was I going to pick something else out? Was What, would, what was I going to do? And I even posted it to my fitness pal. And I realized after I posted that, that... Um, I just, I really had to think about it then. I don't even think about food the way I used to think about food. It was like, oh, I'm excited I get to go out to eat. Not anymore. I really feel much more accountable when I'm going to go somewhere because I log everything. I log my calories all day long. And I do that because I never really was accountable before in my life. And uh, so when I got there... Everybody there said, hey, you're going to have some pizza? I said, I might have some later. And honestly, when I looked at it, it just, it's not my favorite pizza place that we went to today. And the salad didn't look that great. It was just like, you know, sit out in a buffet thing. And, you know, I have always, even before I did the HCG diet, I have this thing about buffets. Just knowing the food is sitting out there and somebody could literally spit on your food or something like that. It just bothers me. And so I normally steer clear of stuff like that. But I made it through the whole thing, not even having a piece of birthday cake. I really didn't want any. I don't like Crisco icing or anything like that. And so when we left, I went ahead and I uh, went through the... I never go through drive throughs anymore. And I went through the drive through at Wendy's and I got me a large chili with cheese and sour cream. And I didn't get a drink or anything like that. And um, I ate that. And I took my two carb blockers because Ashley and I had somewhere to go afterwards. And um, when I put it in my fitness pal, I was pleasantly surprised at the nutrition that's in chili. It's very healthy for you. I just want to throw that out there. And so because I can add starches in and stuff like that, and on days where I'm not exercising, I'm a little more conscious of the carbs. So I take maybe a carb blocker, you know, and they seem to work really well on me. Now, they don't work that well on everybody who's tried them. Just want to put that out there. Um, also, uh, I don't have cravings in between meals anymore. 
I don't know if it's because of all the protein shakes I've done. I, I do a lot of green smoothies. Uh, as all of you know, I got a Vitamixer this, this past year, and uh, I'll make a green smoothie. Almost every day that I walk, I'll have one within 30 minutes of coming home. And uh, I love it. Uh, I, I'm really addicted to it. And it's the fiber and everything else in it is very, very, very filling. Um, I want to put this out there. So tonight, I decided to have uh, french fries. We made homemade french fries for dinner. And we had leftover burgers. And I had bought like the 90-10 or something like that. But you know what? Before I even ate it, I looked in my diary to see what would add up to what. And I don't want to go too far over my 1,200 calories, and especially since I'm not walking. So I eliminated like the cheese tonight. And I can honestly tell you, I don't even miss it. And in the past, I would never have even thought that way. I know that this protocol has changed me forever. I don't want to give up where I am. I don't want to um, give up the size fours. I don't want to give up the exercise routine and how healthy I'm eating now. And um, I just want to put that out there for all of you who don't think that maintaining for life is possible. HCG has changed the way I think. It has changed the way I look at food for my family and myself. I don't even want uh, things with sugar anymore. You know, if I know that there's white sugar in it, I try to avoid it. I don't even care if it says pure cane, blah, blah, blah. I don't want it. I want something with true nutrition in it uh, for my body. And um, now I do still use stevia. I use stevia in almost everything. But um, I wanted to put that out there. And... Even though I'm about five pounds where, from where I want to be, uh, I still haven't decided if I'm going to do a round to reset my hypothalamus to that. If my body uh, doesn't go there in the next month, I probably will reload and do a round. And I really appreciate, I want to put this out here, I heard an excellent vlog by HHCG Crazy. I think it was yesterday or the day before when she put it out. And it, it was a long vlog. It was like 20 minutes, but it was very worth it, Lori. And um, I really appreciate what you had to say about how to get to the place to get, remove all your abnormal fat, start adding a little bit more protein in. And I'm going to take your advice when, if, if and when I do, um, uh, if I go back to the very low calorie. Because I don't think I'm going to need to stay on it longer than 23 days. That's it. it. And I may even hit it the first week where I want to be. But um, anyway, you guys, I'm very happy with the success on this protocol. If you're watching me for the first time, I started at 255 pounds, size 24. And today, I'm 140 pounds, 40.7, and I'm size 4s. And the medium shirts and pants I have are loose on me. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I never imagined HCG would bring me here, and not only that, the clothes and all of that is sort of secondary to what it has actually transformed my, the way I think, and my taste buds, and what I want, and um, even what I want for the rest of my life. I'm actually thinking of things that I never even wanted before, you know, like maybe to do uh, a marathon, or uh, I, of course start small. Uh, or uh, get exercise equipment in my house. Trust me, never happened to me before. So uh, I just want to throw that out there. I don't want to keep you guys, but I just wanted to say hello. Uh, I, If my husband has time tomorrow, I'm going to get him to film me in the kitchen. I will vlog something for you guys and um, put it out there. And that's for Jesse HCG. Thank you for reminding me. And uh, I love you guys. I hope you have a great night. It's very cold here. Stay warm where you are. Peace out.